everyone, this is Mark from MrHurricaneTracker.com. I want to talk about a couple of things that are still occurring in Japan. I want to go ahead and bring in the UV Alert website, talk about the nuclear power plant that exploded in Fukushima. And according to the UV Alert website right here, which I'll post the link in the description of the video, uh, the latest information is uh, indicating that the uh, power plant has exploded a day after the massive earthquake. And... Uh, the reason is, is because the power plant has failed and one of the power plants uh, have not been able to be brought back up. In fact, there's still going to be a lot of people without power and I'm talking about a million, more than a million people without power. So we're going to continue to keep you posted on what's happening there. Again, I'm going to go and bring in the USGS website information so you can see the amount of earthquakes that have been occurring in the past couple of hours. As you can see, they did have a few uh, six pointers, uh, above six pointers in the past couple of hours uh, off the east coast of Honshu, Japan. So we're still talking about earthquakes that are still occurring in that area. And the reason for this is going to be because of the, the shifting of the tectonic plates. You know, I believe that this is the uh, actual problem that is happening. And just a little while ago, we had a 10.1 kilometer earthquake in the Gulf of California that was 10.1 kilometers off the coast and uh, it was a 4.4 and just after that we had a 5.3 so instead of it being a higher earthquake and then a lower earthquake as or as a tremor this one was a lower earthquake and then it raised up to a 5.3 in the Gulf of California so we're gonna have to keep a very close eye on the Gulf of California and see what is happening in that location so once again, as you see here, 6.1 and a 6.4 off the east coast of Honshu, Japan. This should be a warning to Honshu, Japan, as to the possible next large earthquake that might occur in that area. So there, we're talking about the 7.3 that occurred on Wednesday, which should be their warning as to what occurred. And you see, as I'm going down the list, there's quite a few earthquakes in the past that just happened after the 8.9. Again, it is very difficult for them to actually even count the amount of earthquakes that just occurred. And the amount of earthquakes that have just occurred after that are quite a bit and still large numbers, including above 5.0 magnitude. Nothing above 7 has occurred yet, which is good news. But again, this is, it was 8.9 for the tsunami, and it continued to, and the area is continuing to receive those earthquakes. The next area to watch is going to be, the next two areas to watch are going to be Hawaii and also I'm looking at an earthquake here that just occurred in Oklahoma. It looks like it was not just now, it was actually just a while ago, a couple of hours ago maybe on the 11th that occurred yesterday actually it shows here. And that's pretty rare for Oklahoma to have an earthquake so we're going to keep an eye on that. It was just a 3.2. But again, we're going to keep close, a close eye on Hawaii, which can be the next target for earthquakes, and uh, also keep an eye on the Gulf of California. So again, stay tuned to MrHurricaneTracker.com. We'll bring you the latest of what is happening in Japan. As of right now, they're not talking about the earthquakes that are happening because there's too much to talk about in that area as far as what's happening right now and the devastation that's going on. But we're going to continue to keep you posted on what's happening I'm going to go ahead and bring in live footage from CNN Live. Uh, as you see here, they're talking about it still that's happening, still with the explosion. It looks like they're just now bringing up information. And if you want to go and keep a close eye on that, you can do so by going to CNN. I'm going to go ahead and post the link in the description of the video. You can click on the live, launch player live, and it'll launch the player and it'll continuously report. They'll report on exactly what's happening every 30 minutes to an hour. And uh, you might see footage that have already been occurring, but again, continue to watch it because on the top screen here, they'll show the next live footage, which right now, this is live footage of what's happening and updates that you'll be receiving every 30 minutes to an hour. So keep an eye on that. And again, we'll keep an eye on the ocean here in Japan, off the east coast of Honshu, Japan. And we'll continue to watch the earthquakes as they occur. And if there's anything that is above 7.0 or 6.0, we'll continue to make videos on that. 
So again, we have these two 6.1 and 6.4 quakes that just occurred recently in the past hour. So continue to keep you posted. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Stay tuned to MrHurricaneTracker.com and have a wonderful day.